Somewhere located in the island Manhattan lived a boy by the name of James Earl McLachlan. He was a peculiar boy with seven years of age who knew the dictionary from the front to back page. He was extremely polite, well-bred, and quite polished. For such a young boy one would be astonished. Perhaps this was due to his parents who care, but to tell you the truth, they were both hardly there. Instead, he would study his math, French, or science. It was his parents' bidding there was never defiance. Being top of his class was never that hard, for a boy expected to attend Harvard. But James kept a secret that he never shared. Oh, to tell his parents he would not have dared. What was this secret? It lay in the sky. Yes, to be a pilot on his airplane and fly. Where would he go? Only he knew. Perhaps to Great Britain or even Peru. One day, while flying to the temples of doom, out of nowhere came his mother bursting into his room. She said, What are you doing? Stop playing and work. She said it so madly without even a smirk. His mother then picked up his airplane and left. James shouted, Oh, mother, what you're doing is theft. He then sat in the corner, just starting to cry. His adventures had entered that he could not deny. He lay on his bed, refusing to eat, until somebody decided to raise up his sheet. Why are you crying? asked James Nanny Maria. He cried tomorrow I was planning to fly to Korea. She pulled out a plane. She waved in the air. He leapt from his bed, now void of despair. He started a gesture by raising his thumb. She too was excited and decided to come. He brought her to China and then took her to France. It happened so fast, just as quick as a glance. Then back to Manhattan the two had arrived. It was a long journey. They were glad they'd survived. Then, like a lion entering the room, James heard his mother's footsteps of doom. She looked quite upset and screamed at Maria. Why she was angry, he had no idea. The next day Maria walked into his room. Her face looking down, her mood was all gloom. She dropped down her bags onto the rug. He knew what was coming and gave her a hug. His mother was calling for Maria to leave. She stood up and left. It was hard to believe. He sat in the corner, with his spirit quite broken. His hurt and his anger lay with him, unspoken. Ding, 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 ding.